Hi everybody, welcome to AMA Garage 253. I'm Chris. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew making noises. Uh, tonight we're going to be starting a little bit of work on making a camp wood stove out of a 50 gallon, 55, 55 gallon barrel drum. We're using a kit that Andrew ordered off of Amazon. It's a kit that you can find on Amazon. It was 50 bucks um, with Prime. Uh, it takes your normal, I think if it's 33, 35 gallon and 55 gallon drums, uh, you could use either one. Uh, so th this is the kit. We opened it and laid it out for you guys to see. So we got obviously a big cast iron door. It's gonna fit, and this is all bolt on. It should be plug and play. You just cut the holes. Um, for the most part, it should everything should be put together fine. Hopefully, we'll see. Got a mystery part here. There's there's a couple of holes drilled, but none of the pictures that we've looked at say exactly what to do with this, and I've never seen it before, so I don't know. And we got legs for it. And the appropriate amount of screws. So um, the barrel that we're using today is, uh, like I said, 55. We found it on offer up locally. Um, you can find them for, you know, five bucks, ten bucks, um, up, and then, of course, it goes up from there. Uh, I paid ten dollars for this barrel, so uh, I asked him what was in it. I think he said it was water or soap in it. Um, it doesn't smell any chemically or anything that's going to be vaporized. Uh, so it's all dumped out and drained. Um, so hopefully when we start cutting, nothing happens. Yeah. Find out. If any large fire fireballs burst out, you guys will see it. So the... Uh, and just in case it did have something crazy in it after we get the thing made, uh, we'll, we'll burn it the first time outside well away from everybody. So. We'll, uh, we'll put a link in the description as far as for this kit. Like I said, it's on Amazon. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, but that way, if you're interested, all you have to do is click on it and go ahead and order one. So. All right, sit back and enjoy. We get to do all the work. Alright guys, we're here with the update. Uh, as you can see from the video, uh, we Chris took the time and made a perfect template off of the, the stove door. Uh, we used a couple different tools. We used a cutoff wheel, a grinder, and a uh, jigsaw uh, with a metal blade to be able to, to cut this. So as you can see... Looks good. So 
So that's just gonna bolt straight down to the front of this. Uh, this top bigger uh, plug was is designed to keep for an air outlet. Um, so that way there's a little bit more airflow through this barrel. But we can always plug it if we need to. Yeah. So the bottom one, um, we had to cut off because it was sat at probably about a quarter inch, half inch, a little too high for this to sit flush. Um, so we were able to remove that. With them. Obviously when we cut it, I need to cut it all the way, but uh, now we got it sitting flush. Looking pretty good so far. All right, on to the next.
All right, everybody. So we got the, uh, as you saw, we got the legs on, we got the flu on the top. And getting the, the bolts for the legs on, Andrew had to practically crawl into the barrel yeah. to hold on to because it was so far in there. But got it all secure, so now we're down to just putting the door. So we're all cut out, we're set there, and it's just going to be a matter of uh, punching the holes, drilling them out, and then putting the screws and the nuts on. Nuts on. So then after that, ready to put some wood in there, fire it up? Yeah. Probably be not, pretty good. We'll see. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Okay, you good with that? Alright everybody, we've got all the uh, got all the screws in. It works, it opens up. Andrew took the flap wheel and evened everything out pretty much all the way around, so and uh, our air vent works. So I mean we'll probably end up finding something to plug this up or at least yeah, rotate I, I, it. I have the original plug that it, can actually go in there if we metal? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that can actually screw back in there, um, and then if we need to, we can obviously undo it. Uh, one thing that we did notice as far as the drill bit that we did use was a quarter inch drill bit uh, to drill all the holes for the screws. Um, we used the jigsaw with just a metal blade, a grinding disc with a cutoff wheel, a grinding disc with a grinding um, flat wheel. disc. Yeah, flat wheel. And then um, a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet wrench to tighten the nuts. So, pretty simple, easy. Just takes a little bit of time. Anybody can do it. Uh, we did it. We did it, yeah. <laughs> so, you guys saw it here. Saw it live, so this is, uh, went pretty quick. All we gotta do is put a uh, stove pipe on it and we're set. So, that's it. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you could like and, and subscribe, we'd appreciate that too. And, We'll, Stay tuned for more. We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it. Thank you.